Now, today's entrepreneur is a shoemaker. And unlike other shoemakers, his business has a couple of unique features. And these are the things we are breaking down for you in this segment. Today, many youths have learned the principle of being job creators other than job seekers and have come up with own businesses after knowing the dividends this projects. Kutejeka Ivan is one of the few entrepreneurs who mastered this principle and is now owning a leather products manufacturing business. Uh, Bajet Products is a youth-owned project. We do manufacture shoes and other leather products. At Bajet Products, basically we are into go back to school making or manufacturing. The idea was derived from the need to address issues the community contends with. Uh, we came up with the idea after realizing that today most kids in, in up country, not only up country in Uganda, but in East Africa and Africa's whole, we, they go to school barefooted. So we came up with the idea to see how best we can solve this problem. So we started making these shoes, go back to school shoes, these ones I'm telling you about, to see how they can go to school with a pay of a shoe. This business depends on locally available resources, as Ivan explains. Uh, we, we use local available resources. We use leather, which is, which is got from cow hides. We use soles, which are, which are made from plastics. Thus, we are also eco-friendly. This marks the uniqueness this business has over others. But how are we different? For us, we are targeting go back to school kids. The kids who don't have a payer, the kids who can't manage to buy a payer, we are going to cut this payer up to 4,000 or 5,000 shillings. That's the most different thing we have on these people. And the other thing is that we don't just sell a shoe. When we are selling shoes, we sell durability. We sell comfort. This is how they earn. Like currently, our shoe, our pay of a shoe is at 35,000 shillings, okay. and uh, we believe that uh, if we if we increase in the production capacity, that is machinery and training more youth, that is reducing the costs of labor. We think we shall cut our shoe up to up to the lowest price. The more you sell pairs of shoes, the more money you get. That's increasing our cash our inflows. From this business, Ivan has brightened his future. Personally, the, the, the things I've got from the business uh, is uh, education. I've been able to, to pay school fees or tuition at Chambogo University for three years. Not having a dead year. Investment in education is the most important thing, regardless of how many products you have bought. However, he has contended with these realities. Yeah, one of the challenges we are facing as, we, as a startup is that, you know, when you're doing this business, you need to move other people who are in the same business. How do they do it? How, which challenges they find so that you don't hit the same challenges? People don't share information. Business people don't share information. And this has taught me a lot that I should always share information to other people who are starting up businesses and I'm doing it. The other challenge we are facing is materials. Like for example, we use local very materials. You get? But you find that sometimes they are out of market whereby you find that the machines which have been turning them, they are down. So right now we have to look for materials outside the country. You have to resource for some materials. That makes the, the shoe now expensive. For sustainability in business, they have kept hold of these values. Uh, the, the greatest thing that, we have, that has helped us is that we have put trust first. Uh, with our clients, the, the little thing we deliver, the shoe we deliver, is that we have to see that we deliver that comfort, that durability in a shoe. In years to come, this is where they wish to be. In two years to come, we want to first let everyone, not everyone, but most youth have skills in bags making, in shoes making, in belts making, in wallets making. Why? Today, if you see at Uganda's population, which is 40 million people, you find that 80% are youth. How many are employed? 
So we, we think that if we empower the youth, we shall let every kid or every youth have, have, uh, uh, have a job. If we don't employ him, we go somewhere and start his own project or his or her project. Thus, combating high-level unemployment in the nation. Being job creators has helped bridging the unemployment gap in Uganda as this entrepreneur.